assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu friends in this video i will discuss how to use a multimeter being electrical professional electronic professional are you are in home in this modern technology it's very small device it's have cheaper and expensive everything is available but we must know the procedure how to use this one how to use multimeter if we have a minor problem we can test easily other than if we have a minor problem from a cable we should test if there is a no output voltage from any socket we must know the procedure how to test it so let's start multimeters multimeter basically is a test instrument a device to show you the present presence of the voltage current uh, it can measure the resistance of uh, any circuit multimeter here are analog digital i have analog multimeter but uh, that is past days this time uh, no one uses analog multimeter everyone uses digital multimeter so digital multimeter we have two types manual ranging and digital ranging manual ranging oh manual ranging multimeter it is also the old fashion you have to select and then you have to determine the value it is uh, slightly difficult but it is the same this auto ranging multimeter has uh, both options manual ranging and auto ranging i have this manual range multimeter auto range auto range auto range and this auto range other multimeter have different options this multimeter have voltage millivolt milliampere microampere continuity and ohms okay this multimeter have ac volt dc volt ohm continuity ampere this multimeter this have a resistance milliampere dc volt dc volt ac capacitor ampere ac this multimeter have volt ac volt dc millivolt ohm continuity diode capacitance ampere microampere milliampere so but this multimeter is all in one it's a slightly expensive but the best quality it is a uh, i am not promoting anything i am just showing my experience this one is multimeter digital multimeter digital multimeter but this 179 it have true rms multimeter it is very latest and very accurate i always use this for uh, work in electronics it have functions ac voltage ac frequency dc voltage dc frequency millivolt temperature temperature in uh, centigrade and fahrenheit so then there is ohm capacitance continuity diode micro milliampere ac pulsating dc and hertz what is the frequency in the amperage and ac ampere milliampere ac pulsating dc and hertz so i use most of the time i use this multimeter i have a dso digital storage oscilloscope i have that one also so i will put it one side this multimeter very easy to use it have hold function auto hold it have minimum range maximum range average ranging the reading 
when we are measuring we i will demonstrate everything then there we have a range then sub function is uh, capacitance and following it here are two ranges the first white range and white function with the main dial function and then there is sub function with the yellow button we can swap between these two options with this button okay it has two types test leads one is a normal test lead red and uh, black it have four input terminals one is common i will remove the leads first common voltage ohm diode function and uh, 600 volt category 4 and 1000 volt category 3 cable this uh, depends upon the cable and uh, here is uh, 400 milliampere and here we can apply 10 ampere maximum it's the maximum ranges when we are using these functions we have to select this common lead here and red lead here but if when we will use these functions we will swap this lead to anyone now we will start first I will switch to AC voltage I have this socket AC socket take two leads connect to multimeter it will show the voltage value what is the voltage here 235 volt and at the same time if I will press this button it will give me the frequency what is the line frequency 50 Hertz 60 Hertz sometime we have fluctuation in frequency the voltage are regular to 30 volt 220 volt but we have problem in frequency so 236 volt 235 volt that's 236 volt that's nice okay and we can measure directly frequency is giving 50 Hertz that's nice stable frequency stable voltage so you can check AC voltage and AC Hertz here now I have DC function first of all I will discuss the auto ranging then I will show you the manual ranging volts DC if I have a battery cell I want to test it is it working or no connect any site we have two leads it's giving 1.6 volt 1.6 volt when we are using DC we must know the polarity we should know the polarity of voltage here it's giving DC voltage when I if I connected the leads here it's giving me 1.6 volt minus there is an active sign so that means the we can determine the polarity first of all it give me the voltage value what is the voltage value and then it will give me the polarity if I connect in this way it's giving me 1.6 volt without any sign so that means if I connected this red lead here red means positive live wire it's giving me 1.6 volt very nice when it's connected here I have a positive sign on the battery if I I will connect like this and it's giving no sign that means the positive terminal of battery is here so anyone any place I have to connect the battery voltage or if I want to test any unknown polarity okay I have this terminal I, this unknown polarity for DC voltage I connected these lines and now I am taking minus 3.8 volts that means the polarity of this voltage is different that means the reverse polarity this unknown voltage I don't know what is here what is here so I have to swap the leads to know the correct polarity so now negative sign disappeared that means 
this line this black lead is negative terminal of this power supply this negative and the positive line is connected to positive terminal that means we have connected the correct polarity if we find the negative sign mark that means the terminals are reverse you have to swap the cables when I will connect correctly the sign will go out and if I have any frequency suppose I have this source here on my oscilloscope this 2.5 volts and uh, DC 2.5 volt DC if I will press the yellow button it's giving me 4 kilohertz I have 4 kilohertz signal so if we have frequency here okay I will check frequency here what is the frequency here in DC there is no frequency I want to find millivolt then I have millivolt sign millivolt that is to 600 millivolt maximum I will connect it the same as a DC function I will increase it is to find minor signals it is 206 millivolts less than 0 .6, 0 0.6 volt 600 millivolt we can use this then there is a temperature function for to measure temperature of any body for any equipment you have to connect yellow black line to black terminal and red line to red terminal okay and uh, we will connect yellow button to swap the function now it will give us temperature in degree centigrade now I will press it it will give me the body temperature 33 34 it will give temperature okay now if I want to check the temperature of my soldering iron I will just uh, keep closer you can see it's giving the temperature of the tip and if you want to measure in Fahrenheit press this button now it will give me first of all my body temperature 93.5 94 it's uh, keeping increasing and if I will get closer to this soldering iron it will give me the temperature 340 300 like this temperature so you can check the temperature of any part any component any cylinder any hidden part just insert the probe if you want to check the probe of any hidden part you have to just enter this probe this end sensor and you will find the temperature first of all from this section at this point go to yellow button temperature function and after that range button is uh, used to swap between degree centigrade and Fahrenheit I will remove this one I have Ohm function for Ohm function we will use the same leads here test leads when we will select it will show OL overload open line then first of all connect the both leads you will find zero ohm resistance between these two lines zero ohm resistance between two lines now if I will connect any component between these two components to measure the resistance take care never touch the both leads so you will not get the correct resistance okay place it hold it in any helping hand this component or just only touch from one side and the other side should be like this you will take the correct resistance 176 ohm 176.5 okay At the same time if I want to check the potentiometer
5 ohm I will vary this resistance and you can find 0.9k 800 ohm 400 ohm you can find you can check the resistance like this and the same way we can check the resistance of any connector any wire like this I will connect this wire here and I will connect so this line is not reading any resistance this is varying resistance so if I will connect the green line point 0.4 ohm resistance and if I will connect this line this line it does not read that means this cable it have disconnection from anywhere next any resistance any wire if you have a fuse you can check fuse on the same it's 0.3 ohm okay. if I have resistance like this power resistance it's 1.1 1 .1 ohm next there is a capacitor function if I will check capacitance I will check nanofarad okay if I have a capacitor never touch the both leads before testing capacitor make short between the two leads like this use any screwdriver any jumper wire okay after that connect one line to this one so I can check it this 869 nanofarad it's one microfarad this capacitor was unserviceable so I removed it it should be one one microfarad it's 871 that means this is not good the reading is uh, shown on the body of the capacitor if this capacitor make short circuit sometimes the capacitor is holding charge 46.7 microfarad and it is 47 47 microfarad that means the capacitor is good it's giving much closer value that means 46.8 is very close to 4.7 47, 47 microfarad that means this capacitor is good capacitor resistance then there is continuity the same continuity I have a buzzer here okay if I want to test any wire like this if I want to test this wire from this end to this end I will connect one line here one line here so that means this piece of wire if there is any disconnection between this it will not close the circuit so it will not measure anything then continuity okay if I want to test this lamp I can check that means 34 ohm it reads 34 ohm between the resistance of this element that means this one is working properly then I have diode function it will measure the junction voltage of any diode we can test transistor we can test anything if I have a power diode connect one terminal here it's giving me 0.367 this is germanium power diode one side it will open the other side it will give continuity our junction voltage 0 0.367 0 0.363 voltage that means this transistor this diode is good if I have another diode this fast rectifier it's giving 0 0.65 when we will swap the leads opposite side reverse side it will not give any indication if I have a diode it's giving me one side is fast rectifier 0.237 and when I will swap the leads it will not read anything I cannot find anything you can see it's giving me junction voltage in the forward condition now here the black lead is cathode and the red lead is connected to anode so 
this is cathode cathode is marked with a ribbon with a band with identification mark and the red sign that is positive side that is called anode cathode anode the same is here this one is anode this one is cathode okay if you have any zener diode the same way the forward junction voltage will determine 0.7 volt that's this diode is functional it's a zener but here we will just verify the forward voltage because the zener is used in a reverse bias the same way we can test transistor if I have a transistor first of all select one common suppose I selected the red lead as a common pin and I selected one pin common here okay I will connect to both leads nothing then I will connect to this this black lead to this pin and I will connect here 0.47 and here nothing then I will connect this lead to body to third pin one line reading second line no now I will swap the leads I will put this lead as a common okay nothing nothing then I will connect this lead to this pin no reading no reading now I will put red lead to last pin this one and I will take reading 0.464 here 0.467 there is more resistance between two pins now you have to compare this one here 0.462 0.466 the more reading that is between base to emitter the more reading between base to emitter the low reading between base to collector so now we can identify here is base here is emitter here is collector so you can test any transistor and now you can test the polar check in the polarity red positive positive p black negative and negative means n so collector is n type emitter is n type basis p the common pin is p so n p n because common in center n p n so if any transistor will read an other reading so I will check here if any transistor is short circuit we can check if any transistor is giving short circuit tone that means it is internally shorted this transistor is shorted a good transistor just only give one good reading that is one common one line should be common and other should give junction resistance like this so this is a good way to use multimeter now you have hold function if I want to measure voltage DC voltage and I want to connect here this reading is instantaneous but if you want to hold this reading to note down okay just put hold button now it is stable on the reading you can use this reading as a reference you can write down maybe if you are connected to some circuit there a voltage comes for a short time just only put auto hold put auto hold and it will measure the voltage at that time now it is reading now the maximum voltage is noted 
I repeat again. Hold function is to measure to hold this reading. Now this reading is hold. But if you will press this button twice, two times, hold, auto hold. This auto hold is visible now. And now if any reading will come here and stable, it will give a beep that the reading has been holded. It is 1.6 volts. Sometime you can you cannot reading you cannot make reading for anything just only put auto hold and when a short pulse will come there it will record automatically then we have minimum and maximum function minimum and maximum any multimeter these functions are for any multimeter any function any multimeter have these functions you can use them okay if you have turned on minimum function minimum maximum function it will measure the minimum and maximum voltage if you have any fluctuation in any power supply in any circuit just only connect it here it measured the minimum 1.53 voltage maximum voltage 1.6 volt again if you have fluctuation in any voltage if any power supply is not stable you have to check the stable stability of the voltage if the power supply is measuring maybe 1.3 volt to 2.2 volt and you cannot judge by the multimeter like this just only put minimum and maximum function on okay it reads now it's maximum 1.6 volt if you will put minimum it will say minimum voltage bar 0.089 volt again minimum maximum now I select minimum voltage. Now I will connect multimeter. It re recorded. Now I will check how was how was the minimum voltage and maximum. Minimum 1.4 volt and maximum 1.6 volt. And it will measure the average voltage also. Connect here. Minimum maximum minimum and average and it will calculate the average between two volts minimum and maximum so it have three functions minimum maximum and average then there is a range then there is a range we have different manual selections here is auto range and if you will press manual range its maximum 6 volt range if I will correct this one it will give me 1.6 volt ok and in manual range if I will connect 9 volt battery 9 volt, 9 volt battery it will give me OL overload over range 9 volt because I selected 9 volt and if I will select 60 volt now at maximum 60 volt range I can measure this voltage 8.6 volt at 6 volt it was not measuring at 60 volt it is measuring voltage and here 8.6 volt and if I will select 600 volt range it will give me 8.6 before this three three digits 1000 volt just only 9 volt different manual ranges 6 volt range it will measure up to 6 volt up to 60 volt up to 600 volt up to 1000 volt so in AC DC and uh, milliampere ampere you can measure these readings so now I will 
show some other function if you want to work in that dark night you can use backlight option it have a backlight press this button it is for two minutes after two minutes it will automatically off but now it is off before turning on put this button these are hidden features of this multimeter put hold on after self test it is giving all lamps auto hold so that means this is the screen test again press it press and hold this self test for the display the display is good we have battery function kilohertz megahertz dc ac milliampere different kism, different indications are here then power off put minimum and maximum off this beep now the beep is disabled again beep is disabled before turning on if you will press minimum maximum button and you will turn on this multimeter it will turn off the beep now the beep is off now yellow button and on this P off automatic power off or sleep mode off and if you will press the range this smooth mode smoothing mode if you will press range button and power on this S smoothing mode off when smoothing mode is off the display will change rapidly and it will not give a smooth reading if this reading this system is normal on and if you will press range and on the smoothing mode s mod will turn on now the reading will more quick if this video is good for you you can like subscribe share the current function we will discuss in next chapter because this is totally different you have to swap the leads and it needs uh, some special care some special safeties we will discuss in our next subject thanks for watching assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh